So here's what's going on at the house that never sleeps. I got been charging batteries here. And uh, you're probably wondering what all this is. Well, this battery, I bought this battery brand new in 2011. Uh, so it's six years old right now and it was on its last foot. It's 26 degrees out here right now. And this battery was shot, man. It would not even crank this truck at this temperature. And it barely started when it was warm. So I uh, desulfated it as best I could and uh, recharged it, went through the trickle charge and desulfating and all that. And I'm uh, running it back down now. I've done the first trickle charge. That's what you see over here. Had it on trickle charge for 24 hours after I desulfated it and cleaned it out and did the magic to it. 24 hours trickle charge, put it in the truck, turn all the lights, the heater, everything except starting the truck on. And you can see here, we're on this 30 volt scale here, this red one on the bottom. You can see it's about 10 volts right now and it's been there for the last 15 minutes. The heater and lights have been turned on. It's holding at 10 volts. It hasn't dropped any, none that I can see. I want to run it, like I say, it's only had one trickle charge put into it. And I want to run it down to about 8 volts, at least 8 volts with the load on it, or none, maybe I'll, as cold as it is. And uh, then I got to unhook it from the truck and put it back on trickle charge and leave it on trickle charge again and monitor the uh, electrolytic fluid levels. I don't know if you can see those or not from here, but they're full. Anyways, I have, uh, well, I have these batteries here, see? There's one big one there. And there's a couple of big ones, that black and white one, and then a couple more over there. There's four batteries right there. Three of them are not sealed. I can get into three of them, so I'm gonna do this to all three of them. Plus, I have lawnmower batteries that need it. That one is one of the three that need it. Well, one of the two, I have three of those riding mowers. Two of them have bad batteries. One has a new battery in it. So I'm gonna be doing two more of those lawnmower batteries and at least one of those batteries right there. Maybe more than one. Anyways, this, this channel's about guitars. You, you guys know every now and then we go off on something completely off the wall just to keep it interesting. So if you want to know step by step how I done this, I started to film it yesterday. It was 60 degrees here and today it's like 26 degrees right now last I checked. We didn't get any snow that they were calling for. You can see what little bit of snow we got. They were calling for quite a lot more than that. We didn't get it. But we got the cold. It's 26 degrees right now. And I'm not going to stay out here very long. I just want to run this battery down to about 8 volts, put it back on trickle charge, unhook it from the truck, put it back on trickle charge, and get my ass back in the house that never sleeps. But if you would be interested in seeing how I rejuvenated this battery, put in the comments below. And when it warms up a little bit, and I do one of these other bat batteries, I'll show you exactly, step for step, how I did it, what I did. Uh, there's videos on YouTube of how to do this, but I never really found one that was... Uh, very much in depth about how much solution to use and we'll get into the solution mixtures and all that crap in the videos I'll show you how I did it if you vote you want me to do it either put yes I want to see how you did it or like this video just like it if I get enough likes then when I get ready on a warmer day to do those other batteries I'll show you step by step how I rejuvenated this old six year old battery that was on its last leg there you can see it has uh, 850 cold cranking amps. That's new from the factory. Now I don't have a, uh, I have a hygrometer. I could check the, uh, the gravity levels in each cell, but I'm not going to, it's too cold, man. You know, I don't have a thing to put a load on the battery. So that's what I'm doing now with the headlights and the heater and crap. If you have an old battery in question, have an old battery and you ever see a sticker like this on it 
Sometimes it's stamped right into the plastic of the battery. Sometimes it has a sticker like that. It could be on the top, it could be down on the sides, or it could be anywhere, but almost all batteries have that sticker or have those numbers uh, get right into the plastic, embossed into the plastic, I guess is the word. What that means, 7-11, that seven stands for the seventh month, July. The 11 means 2011. So in July 2011, that's when this battery was uh, manufactured. And I bought it, I think that same month, because I bought it at Walmart and I was looking at, you know, always make sure to get the very latest, newest ones they have on the shelves. So I'm sure that was it. I'm sure I bought it in July of 2011. And it has had these shit used out of it. I've used that battery, man, all six years, a lot in this truck. And it's never failed until this winter. Last winter it started to get a little bit weak and I thought if I can get through the winter, I'll maybe make it last through summer and I did. Now here we are in, uh, in uh, March of 2017 and the thing still was kicking in warm weather, but like I say, in this cold, I would almost bet you I could get in the truck right now with all these lights turned on and the heater running and it down to 10 volts, it's still holding at 10. Might have went down a tiny little bit, but very little bit, if any at all. I'd almost bet you I can get in this truck as cold as it is and it hasn't been started for a week. I bet you this battery would start it now, but I'm not gonna try it because like I say, the process involves trickle charging 24 hours and then running the battery down to some level, which is what I'm doing right now, and then char trickle charging it back up 24, 36, 48 hours, depending on the battery and the condition it was in when you started. Anyways, guys, let me know if you want to know how I rejuvenate this battery. I'll make another video. Uh, this video will continue. There'll be another part to it tomorrow after I run it down, trickle charge it at least 24 hours, uh, either tomorrow or the next day. I'll show you the first crank on this truck, how it cranks it, how it starts it the very first time after this rejuvenation. I know it's a guitar channel, but uh, we veer off now and then, and if you would like to save uh, buying a $100 battery, let me know in the comments, or like the hell out of this video, and I'll uh, put this video up and show you uh, later on, after it warms up, how I did this. Cheers, folks. Thanks for watching. Let's have one more look. This has been running about 20 minutes now. Like I say, we're on this bottom red scale, the 30 volt scale, and there you can see the 5 and the 10. Each one of these marks indicate 1 volt up to 15. And you can see we haven't dropped below 10. It's still on 10 where it's been for 20 minutes under a load. Thanks for watching, guys. Let me know in the comments if you want to know how I saved this battery. It should be good for four more years. And this process that I do, you can do to the same battery about four times. So you can get probably 12, 14, maybe 15 years out of one battery by doing this, if you do it right. Cheers, thanks for watching. Like, if you want to know how I did that. Like or say so in the comments. Cheers, cold out here, 26, going in the house, never sleeps. Catch you on the other side. Here we are, folks, day two. Now I ran this battery all the way down to seven volts, as you've seen on the last video, okay? It's this old battery here. Ran it all the way down to 7 volts, put it on slow trickle charge. I've left it now for, I don't know, about 24 hours, I guess. Uh, if I can get a shot down in here and show you what the cells look like now. There's that one. Should see a little bit of bubbling from time to time in some of those cells. There's a bubble. Do you see that? Every cell should be bubbling a little bit. Sorry, I can't hold the camera still. It's 20. It's it's 17 degrees out here right now. It's supposed to got up to 27 today, but it ain't gonna make it. Now I was going to. Uh, there's a bubble. See them bubbles? This is charging bubbles. Electrolytic fluid being uh, brought to life. 
Anyways, I was going to unhook this charger today, let the battery rest for 24 hours, and then hook this charger back up tomorrow. Charge 24 to 36 hours more on trickle charge. I'm not going to do that, and if you'll hold on, I'll show you why. So I took off the big charger, and I have this tiny little 12-volt uh, battery charger here. It only charges, it charges on 12 and 6 volts, I have it on 12 volts, it only charges 1 amp, okay, 1 amp max. Now, this battery being on trickle charge 24 hours, uh, I don't imagine that little battery charger there is going to do, you know, a whole lot of, for. it's going to do a lot more than you think over the next 24 to 36 hours, I just saw more bubbles there. These bubbles are a good thing. Like I say, today I was going to unhook the battery and uh, hook it up to the truck and start the truck, but it's just too, I don't want this first test. Like I said, it's 17 degrees out here right now. It's blue ass cold. And I don't want this very first test to be that strenuous on this new battery, uh, you know, restored battery immediately, immediately after restoration. There you can see that cell bubbling well. So it's taken charge very well. Uh, the electrolytic fluids look like they're at a good level. The plates are all covered well. So rather than uh, try to get the truck to start and it's 17 degrees, the truck hasn't been started for like a week or so anyway. So I'm just going to leave this tiny charger on here for uh, another 12 to 36 hours, at least 12 hours. And we'll come back tomorrow, hook it up to the truck and give it the first test see if it will start the truck like I said before I restored the battery and these kind of temperatures like we have right now that battery didn't have a chance in hell of turning this engine over it would just click you know the solenoid would just click 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 and that's all you get so you can see it bubbling, bubbling rather vigorously in that cell every cell should be showing bubbles and they are as near as I can tell here I'm seeing bubbles from out of every one of them, so this is good. So we're going to leave that alone, and like I say, if you guys want to know how uh, I restored this battery, once you see it start this truck in this cold-ass weather after the truck not being started for at least one week, six days or so anyway, we'll see how it does tomorrow. And if you guys want to see how I restored this battery and you see how well it starts this truck after it would not start it before, Put in the comments below, I want to see, I want to know how. Or like this video, if I get enough likes I'll show you, because like I say, I've got batteries here. There's four batteries right there. There's one, two, three, four. There's four of them right there, and I'm going to do at least two of those, maybe three. I've got uh, two lawnmower batteries I'm going to do. So, you know, like I say, if you want to see how I do this, like this video, like the hell out of it, or uh, thumbs it up, or just put in the comments, I want to know how you did it, please explain, whatever, and I'll get, when it warms up, I'll go through the steps and show you. There's a lot of YouTube videos about how to do this, and I never saw one, I watched a lot of them, and I never seen one that really explained uh, the, the proper mixture to the solution to desulfate these batteries and uh, recondition them. So I'll show you how, to, how I do all of that, how I've always did it. And like I say, none of the YouTube videos I have saw are even remotely close to the way I've always done this. But anyways, if you want to see how, let me know. I'll show you. Tomorrow we're going to come back and uh, put it to the real test. See if it'll start the old truck or not. I'm sure we all have all confidence in it. And uh, I'm just, I've done it before and it always worked. Depends a lot on the condition of the battery before you start. But if it's completely dead even when you start, this will usually revive it enough to get you know a couple years use out of it like I say you can do this process about four times per battery batteries average roughly four years so use it four years and then do this four times you can get about 12 to 16 years out of one battery that's uh, a lot of money that's saving you a lot of money cheers I'm going in the house that never sleeps it's too cold out here 17 degrees and I'm out of here cheers to you well here we are folks this is day four or day five got that little tiny charger a smart charger like that one right there when that battery when it thinks the battery's 
charged up, the smart charger kicks off. Now there again, I don't know how well you're going to be able to see these. It's still bubbling. See there? So that little one amp trickle charge is still still got plenty of bubbles coming up out of those uh, cells. Yeah, it's not very frequent, but believe me, they all are bubbling. Because I just now saw them. There you can see a little bit of one there. Some here. So we're going to try this thing now. I've had it on this trickle charger, this little charger now, for 24 hours. And uh, it's about 27, 28 degrees out here today. If this battery cranks this truck, that's way more than it ever would do before in the last year. So let's see. I mean, I get all this stuff unhooked, the charger and stuff, get the truck hooked back up to it. I'm going to clean the terminals first. And uh, see if we made any headway or not. Hold on. Well, here's the moment of truth, folks. I've been uh, restoring this battery for the last four or five days now. It's done. I uh, went through all of the, uh, the processes of uh, desulfating and all of that. Desulfated all the cells, cleaned the plates rejuvenated and uh, like I say this truck has not been started for over a week now and it's like 27 28 degrees out here so if this battery even cranks the truck it's going to be a uh, definite improvement because like I say it would not crank it before in this kind of temperatures and weather plus like I say it's not been started for a week over a week so let's see if all of our efforts pay off or not right now Seventeen degrees, man, and the sun shining. Let's go into the house that never sleep and work on guitars. That's what we're really all about. Hold on, and I'm clear with you. 